What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a full walk around of the rig. It's been two years now. A lot has gone on with the rig. A lot of new stuff has happened. Um, a lot of new stuff under the hood. So we're just going to work our way from the front all the way to the back. And I'm going to show you what we've added. So starting out in the front, there's a bunch of new additions, but we're still rocking the BPF metal front grill. It's kind of beat up, has a lot of rock chips, a lot of bug. I, I left a lot of bugs on the air at one point and they just started eating away at the paint. So I think I need to get that redone up, but it's been holding up quite nicely. Um, we went with the Cali raised stealth bumper with the 30 inch light bar. The dual row 30 inch light bar in there, really bright. Uh, just two regular Amazon D rings. These are new. These are the GTR lighting headlights. They're basically just replica TRD Pro headlights. $600, which is about half ish off of the TRD Pro ones. Um, also, I got these. I don't know if I ever mentioned them, but these are dynamic, diodynamic fog lights in amber. I believe these are the SAE ones where you can run them in the middle of night on the road. They're made for the road. So they're not super bright, but they're bright enough to light everything up. <laughs> the new bumper looks really, really nice. I haven't had any issues with the light bar. It's been pretty bright. It's actually helped out a lot on the trails, especially if you're the lead. Um, yeah, but we went with that because Calories is a sponsor, and if you guys need anything from Calories, here is my code. Get 5% off. I also have a front camera from Running for Tacos. It's in the garage. I haven't put it on yet, but I think I'm going to drill in here somewhere, and then that's where the front camera is going to go. So let's move on into the hood. Oh, there you go. That's new. It's the Spiker Engineering single strut. Got that from Running for Tacos. Excuse the messy engine bay. I just never clean this. I always plan to, but I never do. <laughs> um, so basically the only thing I really want to show you guys is this. This is a switch I'm running. This is the Garmin power switch. It's all filled up. Um, the wiring looks kind of shabby, but it all works fairly well um, for all my accessory lights. Uh, I'll show you all of those eventually in this video, but it's full. Six accessory lights plugged into that. Uh, the only thing I really have to show you guys in here is the switch, the strut, the new strut, and the ARB breather relocator for the differential. That's pretty much it underneath the hood. Moving on to the side. We switched out the Rigid Industries dish lights for Cali raised dish lights. These are the side projecting ones. I kind of like them a little bit more. They're a little bit more beefy and they shoot a lot more light outwards as well. So it covers a lot more light, a lot more ground. Still rocking the Dobinson snorkel with the snorkel upgrade pre-filter the cyclone um, it's been pretty nice i haven't had to change out my air filters for a while now they don't get as dirty as they used to definitely i used to have to change them out monthly but this one hasn't been cleaned for half a year now so it's been doing its job for sure moving down still rocking the same suspension uh dobinson's upper control arm dobinson's twin tube with a two and a half, 2.7 inch front lift, 2.1 inch rear lift. Still have the same KO2s, the 285, 75, 16s. And still rocking the SCSs. These are the same ones I've always ran. They're kind of like beat up now. Bunch of scratches everywhere, but they've been nice. These are the Ray 10s, SES Ray 10s. 16 by 8 minus 12 I believe and they've been doing its job looking real nice my fender liners coming out last time we went through that water crossing at that last video I posted kind of ripped out my 
fender liner. So we have to do something about that soon. Also down on the front, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't know if I can get a good image for you guys, but I also added the Sumo Springs front bump stops down there. Uh, makes front and bottom me out a lot nicer and it makes the front ride a lot better. Uh, some new additions to the rig are swapped out the Bravo, the up top overland Bravo for the Cali raised premium roof rack with the 360 lighting. So I'll show you guys in a minute, but I got a new light bar too. The old one's back there. Um, it has accessory lights on the side now, as well as two lights in the back, 360. You guys want to see it really quick? So the chase lights slash rear lights. Kind of see them turned on. It's kind of bright outside. And the scene lights. So one thing with this rack is the hidden light bar. You should have to screw this knob. Loosen that. Walk over to the other side. Loosen this knob right here. And then hop up top. And then push this down. Then you have your light bar. This is the another one from Cali Rays. It's a dual function light bar. We have the ambers and then the whites in the middle. Spotlights, floods. These are nice when you're chasing someone. Just let them know where you are behind them. These are nice because if you're in the lead, it just shines more down the trail. I use this. I use it a lot last time we were out, and I uh, really like this. Really like this addition. Uh, still rocking this Rome awning, six and a half feet, I believe. Um, it's been good, haven't had any issues with it. It's fairly light for what it does and really easy to set up and take down. Still rocking the R4T rock sliders. They've been really nice. I did bang the other side a couple times, so had to repaint it with some resto but they've been pretty well taking a beating um see if i can show you guys i don't know if you can tell you really can't i just resprayed it with some resto some matte black resto and back to new kind of except the scratches so i don't really have anything new in the rig um well kind of i guess but we have fire extinguisher of course everyone should have that I got one of these massive cup holder things for a hydro flask because I hated my shit rolling around everywhere. Um, still running this ram rail from Expedition Essentials with a little arm for my Garmin. So running this Hondo Garage vent, Hondo Garage vent ram ball arm mount it's really nice it puts it in a spot right next to the to the wheel where it doesn't get in the way of anything but i can use one finger and uh maneuver on my phone fairly easily uh, aside from that there's nothing really new inside other than maybe a couple of these patches but i think these are going to come off soon because they just fall off so easily um yeah, so these patches are a no-go anymore. I might have to take them all off. The bed has had multiple iterations on it um, this year. First, I was just running the soft topper. Then I added the up top overland soft top compatible rack. Um, that was nice for a while. I started working with Cali raised, so I got rid of that and moved on over to the Cali raised low profile, low height rack. Uh, it's been working out pretty well. I think I'm going to move the water ports or the water water packs to this side instead of having it in there. I'll show you guys what the situation is looking like inside of the bed. But I think I'm going to have two water packs moved onto here just for ease of access. So I don't have to walk. I don't have to go into my uh, bed just to get to them. So that's going to change soon. But yeah this rack has been super nice it's super sturdy haven't had any issues there's no rattling um i hate to say it but with my up top overland one there was a lot of rattle and a lot of uh 
bumps and grinds with that. So this one's nice, no more rattling. Um, I have the roto pack mounted on the other side. So I moved the gas roto pack over to this side. It makes more sense because this is here and then the gas tank is here. I don't have to carry it all the way across the whole rig just to get to that and refuel my rig. So that's nice that it's on that side now. Uh, let me show you the inside of the bed now. So in the back of the rig, uh, we have molly panels on the passenger side and the front, I guess, of the bed. Um, I have my water port in there and a water packs right here. Kind of inconvenient. At first I thought it would be nice because I can get to it from there, but it's not set up how I want to set it up. So I'm going to move the water port over here to this bedside and then move the water pack there and then add an additional water pack on the side of the rig. That just makes more sense than where it's at right now. Um, this right here is just an extra little box I tied down there just in case I need to put something in there that I'll need in the future. Still have the same bed stiffeners. These are the Cali raised bed stiffeners. Have any issues, I use them as tie downs all the time, super strong. And I still have the bed mat, the OEM bed mat comes clutch. You definitely need one of these if you have a bed and it makes everything 5 million times better. New addition in the back is this snail armor uh, flat bed. Got rid of that plastic thing with the little bumps on it, stupid. So it should just came flat like this off the rip. Mine is kind of messed up. I mean, I use it on the daily for, I don't know, everything. Cutting stuff, putting stuff on top of it, messing it up, sliding stuff on it. But it held up quite nicely. It's pretty nice. And I can put my drink down and not trip about it, like falling over and stuff. So I would say this is definitely an essential upgrade for you guys. You should do that. Also in the back, we have these new lights. These are the Sanuar. Um, LEDs they're sequentials so they do this which is pretty sick but yeah they've been holding up nice none of the lights that I've added on have had any issues I took it through took them both through water crossings and then been fine so yeah we'll just see how long they last also these aren't new but I had these for a while these are the Cali raised bed mounts I use it for a flag on this side and on the other side I think I'm gonna mount another accessory light just for like working so you can shine it down this area if I'm doing something so I think I'm gonna add a light on that end I do still have the Rome box this is the 85 I think it is I'll correct it somewhere here when I figure out exactly how big this is but this is going to go back up on top of the roof Soon, I'm not 100% sure when, but all my stuff is still in here. I'm gonna move it back up there eventually. So that is about it. That's everything I've done to the rig in the past year or so. Um, I've been trying to be really minimal with it, trying to do only the things that I need to get done. And I think I've succeeded at that. Um, still working with Cali Raised. So if you guys need anything from Cali Raised, use this right here for 5% off. I believe it's Rome 5 but just use this. Going forward from here, probably gonna size up the tires, probably new suspension, definitely an RTT for next season. And yeah, be on the lookout for that. If you guys like the way the rig is turning out, let me know, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. I'll leave some links to everything that's on the rig down in the description for you guys. And if you guys haven't already, wanna see more of this and where it's going, Make sure to hit that subscription button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.